guys. Today this video is going to show you how to make this 3D corn fish. These tools are the same design, except this one has some more cotton ball inside the body, so it looks a little bit different. For this project, we're going to set our room as little V here and keep your red arrows point away from you. First, we're going to make these three fan. These three are the same, so we're going to take one single pen. Start from first to second on your left. First to second on the center. And do one more time. Now we're gonna come in to the center using black pen. Take one single black. From second on your left to third on the center. Take another one. From second on your right to third on the center. Take one single pen, twist it two times, so you will see three rings here. Place right here as a cap pen. Now we're gonna rotate our loom and start looping. Reach under the cap pen, find this pen, look it to your left, and grab the bottom one. Look it to the next one. Come back here, find this pen. Look it to your right. Grab the bottom one. Bottom one. Now after we done all this part, we're gonna take one single pen. This is our secure pen. Put both ends on your hook, grab one end through the others, pull it, and do the same thing on the center and on your right. Now after we're done, we can take up all this. And this is one of the side fin in the front and top fin. So we're gonna need three pieces of this. So pause your videos and make two more. I'll see you when you're done. We're gonna make this two smaller one in the back. Then come back here. Make sure your red arrows point away from you. Take one single pen. Start it from first to second on the center. Single pen. First on your left to second on the center. Take one breath. Twist it one, two, and three. So you see four rings here. And press right here as cap pen. Now we're going to rotate our room and start looping. And the same, take one single pen, this is our secure pen, bring it through here, put both ends on your hook, take one end to the others, and do it on both ends. Now we're going to need two pieces of this, so pause your videos and make another one. I'll see you when you're done. Now after we finish all this fan, we're going to make its tail. The same start with red arrows point away from you. Take one single pen. Make it two times on your left. Three times on the center. Two times on your right. Take one single breath. Come from your left to the center. Take another one from your right to the center.
Okay, one more. Press it. One, two. So you see three rings here. Press right here. Let's keep it. Now we're going to load in our room and start looping. We're going to find this pen first. And this is just regular standard looping process. Okay, after we finish looping, now this time we don't need secure band. We're just gonna collect all three loose ends and take it out. And after you take it out, we're gonna take one single black band, twist it, so you'll see two rings here, pull it, and we're gonna bring this piece in here. You can put both ends on your hook for now. And this is its tail. Now we can put this aside and use it later. Okay, now after we finish all this at arm part, we're going to start working on the body. Before we start working on the body, we're going to reset our room. For those of you who don't have rainbow room, you can just use this egg pack and pretend this is not here and do the same thing and it's after you're done and you take it out and stop the cotton ball inside and you can also use this part for monster tail but for those of you who has rainbow room we're gonna reset our room today turn your room back here we're gonna remove this piece Take this piece apart, turn it over. Now we're gonna, re now we're gonna remove the center bar. Now we're gonna keep red arrows point to your right. That way it will be easier when you loop in the band. So this open area should be to your right. Now after we finish setting the room, we're gonna take this part, this is the tail the last part we make and we're going to use this black band place right here on one of the pegs and press the other end on here so it's going to look like this for the first layer we're only going to use this four peg. so next one I'm going to take one black band, twist it. You will see two rings here. This right here. So right now your room should look like this. Now for the next layer, I'm going to place two side bands right here. These two is a smaller piece. I'm going to take one of the piece, release one of the secure band like this and press right here so on this piece it should look like this we're going to press this piece in the next layer now take another orange band press right here between these two pegs and take this smaller piece we made before this piece should be looks like this one and do the same thing that we do for this one release the secure band press right here so on this side she looks like this take another band press right here so for this layer, we have four bands going around between these four pegs. 
Now we can start looping. Peg, she have two layers, two bands on the top and two on the bottom. Now we're going to bring the bottom there, move it up and over, push down the band so you won't pop up, move the bottom there, move it up and over. And do the same thing on this side. Move the bottom there, up and over. Bottom there, up and over. And push it down. So for now, your room should look like this. On each peg, you should have two bands on here. Now we're going to press next layer. Before we do that, we're going to expand this to six pegs. Just take one of the band, it doesn't matter which one. I usually just take the one on the top. So this next layer, we're going to use this six pack. We're going to press this. Use this secure band. Press right here. Take one single band. Another one, and this one we're gonna use this pen. Release and press on here. Now we're gonna cross up here. So for this layer, we have all the bands between these six pegs. So for these four pegs, you will only see three bands. And these two will have four bands on it. So we just loop the bottom there. It will be only one on this one. Move it up and over. Bottom there, one band. Move it up and over. This one has two. Bottom there has two bands. Move it up and over. And repeat each step, do it on this side. Move the bottom there, up and over. Bottom there, up and over. Bottom two, up and over. Okay. Okay, now for the next layer, we're going to expand these two to here. So I'm going to take the top one. Move it over here. Take the top one. Move it over here. So next there, you will see. So next there, we're going to use this egg peg. For the next two layer, we're going to use this egg peg. Take one single pen. Go on this way. All the way back here. Now, after we press all the bands here, we're going to loop the bottom there. For these two pegs, you only have three bands. So, when you see three, we only want to grab the bottom one, up and over, bottom one, up and over, bottom two, up and over, because this peg has four bands, bottom two, up and over. Now we're going to repeat this step and do it on this side. This two has three bands, so grab only bottom one, move it over, bottom one, move it over. Now we need one more layer of this egg pig using orange.
and the same looping process grab the bottom layer move it over do the same thing on this side push it down for this part we want to keep this part outside so we're going to bring it outside so later when it gets tighter it will be stay outside we're right here so next day we're going to use black the same it's a changing color Take single pane, go all the way back here. Now we're gonna bring the bottom two up and over, bottom two up and over. Do the same thing on this side. Next there will be white. The same thing. This up using white. Now, bring the bottom there, up and over. For the next three layers, we're going to attach these three fans to it. Now for the next three layers will be orange. For the next layer, we're gonna start attaching these top fans in here. So take one single band, go on around. Now we're gonna attach the top fan here. So take one of the fan. These three pieces are the same, so it doesn't matter which one. So take one of a secure band. Place right here. Now I'll keep going around here. Go all the way back here. Now we're going to start looping again. Bring the bottom two up and over. Bottom two up and over. And do the same thing on this side. Bring the bottom two up and over. Bottom two up and over. Now for the next layer, we're going to start adding the side fan right here. So we're going to take another piece of the fan. Release it. It's right here. Take another single pin, going around, and for this piece, we're gonna take the center part, release the knot here, grab this two here, press right here. Now we're going to attach another piece right here. Take one of them. Place right here. 
and finish up here. So you will go all the way around. So now we have three piece, two side fan, and this is top fan attached to the body now. And pretend this three piece not here, just doing the same looping process. Grab the bottom two, move it over, bottom two, move it over. Bottom two, move it over. Now we're going to repeat this step and do two more layers of orange. For the next one here, take this center part, release it, and press this secure band right here. And the rest of it is a regular single band. And top band here, we still have one more left, so we're going to use this one right here now we have done attach the top fence on here continue on here right here take the center one Place right here. Take another one, cross up here. So now that's what it looks like. Continue looping the bottom there, move it over, bottom there, move it over. Now if you want, you can start stopping a little bit of the cotton ball in here, so it will be easier. Or you can wait until it's finished. Now I'm going to start stopping a little bit of the cotton ball in here. Now where it's easier. Okay, next there we got one more layer of orange. Take this last one. Press right here. Continue on here. And this one, the same. Take the last piece. Release the secure band and press this secure band right here. Take one more band, cross up here, so it will go all the way around. Now we're going to loop the bottom there again. Okay, now we have finished all these fans attached. Now we're going to start working on the head. Next layer will be black. Take one single black band, go on around, come back here. Grab the bottom two, 
pull it over. And repeat this step, do it on this side. Grab the bottom two, move it over. Next day will be Y. Do the same thing. Take one single pen, go all the way around. Next there, we're going to do orange for egg pack for one more layer. Take one single pen, just go on around. Do the same. Move it up and over. Same thing on this side. Now, we're going to move these two pegs back in here. Be careful when you do a transfer, you don't want to lose any of the band here. After you move in here, you will see four bands on this peg. Bring the bottom two, move it inside. Repeat this step and do it on this one. Bring it in here. Grab the bottom two, move it over. Okay, now we can stop a little bit more in here. For the next layer, we're going to add its eyes right here. One in here and one in here. And the rest of it is orange. So I'll take one single band. For the eyes, I'm going to use black. So I'll take one black band, twist it, one, two, three. So you will see four rings here. Take one orange, bring it in here. Press the eyes right here. Take one more orange. Now we're going to press another eyes right here. Take one single pen, twist it, one, two, three. So you will see four rings here. Take one single pen. Put in the bottom there, up and over, push it down, bottom there. Now we're going to move these two pegs to here. And the same transfer process, take these two, move it to the center peg here. Bring the bottom there, inside, and take this one in here. Move the bottom there, inside. So now we have four pegs. Now we're going to take one single pen. Do one more there between these four pegs.
Pull the bottom there. Up and over. Bottom there. Bottom there. Now we want to stop a little bit more in here between we close up the top. Press in here. And you can look at your fish right now to see if this is the size that you want it. You can stop a little bit more to so make it a little bit choppier. Okay. And now the last one. I'm going to take one single pen. Press it over these four pegs. Bring this bottom there in here. The same thing on this side. Okay, now we're going to close up here. Now we're going to close up here. We're going to move this in here, make it into two pegs. So now we have two pegs left. Take one more band and bring this bottom two inside. Bottom two inside. Now we only have one band in here. Bring this in here so you only have one peg. Bring the bottom there inside here. Now we're done. Make sure you pull this secure band tight so you won't get loose. And this is our fish. If you want it to be a little bit shorter, then you can just squeeze it, you'll make it shorter. If you want to hide this secure band, just go under here. Bring it inside and hide it. You can hide it anywhere you want. And now we have our fish. If you like my video, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.